I'm studying every day for improve my English. Or wait, is it I'm studying every day to improve my English? Now, which one is correct? The prepositions to and for are very easy to confuse. Let's talk about some rules. Use to in these cases. For example, it's about five kilometers from my house to the university. We also use to to indicate the destination. We use to when we indicate the destination and usually there is movement involved. We often use verbs such as go to, travel to, come to, head to, mail to, and send to. Example, I am traveling to the Bahamas next month. In addition, we use the word to with the following expressions. To some extent, to date, to excess, to my surprise, or to English 101. For example, I wrote to him two months ago, but I haven't received any response to date. That's right. Now we use for when expressing the benefits of something like fruits and vegetables are good for your health. When doing a favor, the word for is also used as in he picked up the mail for me. Take it away, Aya. For is used in replacing for the reason of in giving a reason. Example, she was punished for disclosing important information. Which is the same as she was punished for the reason of disclosing important information. In scheduling something for the future, for is used. I set up our interview for January 3rd. Well put, Miss Molly. And lastly, use for with the following expressions. For good, for the record, for the best, for this reason, or for a while. Like, Hey, I haven't seen you for a while. In using two and four, don't forget these cases. That's right, Teacher Aya. So this has been another quick and easy English lesson for y'all. Don't forget to click like and subscribe, kids. See you next time.